Uh, hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one is a little wander through a very, very, very old sketchbook slash art journal that I wanted to share with you today. I'm just, um, to be honest, I go through these every now and again just to pick up old ideas or maybe pick up something to uh, draw or paint from. So uh, let's just dive into it. I think this is actually circa 2007, 2008. So it's uh, pretty old now. Uh, pro markers and me just beginning to use colour because I've been uh, notoriously just black and white everything kept just by your own pencil and then I just I wanted to teach myself how to really sort of incorporate some colour into my work as you can see the way I so the subject matter hasn't really changed too much but the way it comes together and the way it's drawn I don't know who this artist did artist is but um I loved her work back then um that, I can't remember what that was for. I actually ended up using that in something. Um, that was an old sketch card. That's, um, I don't know why I was <laughs> connecting beavers, but there we go. Um, that's actually my friend Maria. Uh, just doodles, just trying to get everything creative out of, I think, River of Bones. That was the old album I was doing. And again, I think, in a lot of ways, I actually think I was a bit more creative back then. I think when you're not entirely certain of your style or what's going on, you tend to experiment a little bit more, which is probably something I could pick up these days. Um, let's see if I can have a little zoom in to some of the stuff there. Yeah, it's much more a diary, I think. This was visual diary that was a bit of graffiti that was around the corner from me i like that idea actually i might play with that a bit more um just pencil work pencil work and me just trying to uh figure out what i wanted to draw really old drawing but me again i'm liking some of this stuff actually that's a pencil sketch that took me ages and uh I never really did anything with it. I'm not sure whether to paint it up or maybe scan it in and use it for something. Like, oh, never finished her. I don't know why she has the tallest forehead in the universe. I never used to be a fan of drawing eyebrows. <laughs> Some of you may recognize him. He ended up becoming a painting that I'm gonna either paint over or redo soon. And that ended up becoming a, a gif for another painting I did for me and Stu. <laughs> This is me trying to figure out what ideas I wanted to focus on. That was a Chun-Li attempt. <laughs> um, that's a really old sketch, actually. I think I cut that out of another sketchbook. That's another old sketch. And the background there, I think, yeah, that's an old album cover I did from years and years and years ago. Uh, her, I'm actually painting that up again soon to put on a postcard for my clients. And she became a painting uh, too, so... But I think that was the first time I really started to um, believe in myself as an artist or really see myself that I could make art that people wanted. So I think that was the first one I started to getting a little bits of uh, praise and stuff for. Again, this is why I tried not to fill this book with pencil sketches because I was trying to get out of this out of this mode. And I think a lot of the the paintings back here are much more sort of quirky, cutesy. Uh, but I've, I've never done anything with them, which now I'm looking at them again. It's a little bit of a shame. It's a little bit of a shame for some of the stuff I didn't do. That's another really old one. I used to draw him over. You know, like those drawings that you had when you were a teenager? And I would draw him over and over again on everything. That's another um, really, really old. I think that's going back to teenage years. I think I cut out that and stuck that in this sketchbook. Because uh, I didn't want to lose him even though he's clearly some sort of mouse robot. <laughs> it's a fairy. Um, <laughs> again, this is part of the art journal stuff. I wanted this house, another little biro sketch, pencil sketch, little idea I was playing with. And then I was trying to do more cylindrical type drawings. And actually looking at this, some of these themes have re resurfaced uh, in my work at the moment. I didn't. Again, huge foreheads. I don't know what was going on. I was obviously living through something. That's a copy of a Brian Froud sketch. I think I did. Uh, um, I used to be. I, used to, I just used to love his work. 
Um, but again, I because I oh god, picking it apart now. Um, because I never used to use colour in a lot of my work, I would sort of fake it a little bit and just tea stain everything and try and draw into it with pencil. But I was much more delicate with my work back then. And there's this guy. I'm not sure what happened to him. It's much more quaint, I think, some of these old illustrations. Uh, that was um, a photograph of a little... Um, I decorated my Christmas tree one year with birds, bird houses. Uh, that's from a book I got from years ago, half-finished drawing. She became a painting. And I may actually repaint her. I may actually redo. We know that there's that thing, isn't there, where you sort of upgrade some of your work. So... That's just some reference and drawings and ideas that I liked. That's a local tree that I walk past. I still walk past that every day. Um, again, this is just collecting reference. I started to go to a local comic book um, club, uh, the Swansea Comic Book Club, the SCC, and they used to get together and draw, but they seem to have uh, stopped doing that so much. And they still do lots of events and things, but not so much that. Uh, drew that in the dentist. I guess my body proportions were very much more illustrative, I think. I think that's the right word, just more stylized, not as... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's another one I'm going to repaint again soon. Because I'm doing a couple of postcards uh, for clients and things like that to give out. Um, so I'm looking for angels and things connected to that. So I'm going to paint him up. Um, there's her little fairy. What's going on there? That's when um, I think this is the part of the diary just before I met Stuart, or around the time I was meeting him. Yeah, because that's I think the first picture we had together when he was smiling in his sleep. <laughs> I know I'm gross. Uh, that's a pro marker thing, and there's something in there. What's in there? Is there something in there? No. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. All right. Um, I was very into origami. I still am. I used to run a local group um, where we meet up once a month to fold and get together, but I just didn't have time for it in the end. Uh, another pro marker sketch on the pro marker paper, glued in. Another little drawing, another little idea. A girl riding an origami crane. Uh, more origami cranes. I think I can see my style just starting to develop. Here, that's some reference drawing. Um, these are the postcards I made from that girl that you saw earlier. I tried to paint, my painting skill wasn't so great then. So I think I was still trying to figure that out. Uh, this is where I just started getting messy <laughs> and testing some new styles and trying to turn random shapes into characters and things like that. And I think this is where the book actually started to fall apart. So I didn't really end up using much of it. Ooh, I think my battery isn't doing so good. So I have to keep a little check on that. I don't know why she looks like she's taken heroin. <laughs> um, this was for another exhibition. I was just starting to get some designs out for. Um, just random crap. So I think at this point we may be coming to the end of this sketchbook. It's an old one. Ah, oh, that's just some lino printing I did for a project back in college. What else is there? Is there anything else? No, I think that's it, actually. I think that's it. I've got a few more really... Oh, hang on. Oh, these are, these are recent ones that I've bunged in here. Uh... Yeah, that was the day me and Stuart rescued, um, <laughs> rescued in inverted commas, a jellyfish. We weren't, we couldn't decide whether the jellyfish was dead or not, but we decided that it was time to at least uh, do our best <laughs> to um, put it back into the ocean. And this was more art journaling again, but I ended up ripping this out of the book because I wasn't a giant fan of where I ended up. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's it. That's the old sketchbook. I've got a few more, actually, because I try and fill at least one a year. Um, and I've got lots of other little shorter ones as well, so maybe I'll do a couple of videos on those. I just wanted to give you more content and sort of re-inspire myself and reacquaint myself with some old ideas. If you like 
particularly any of the pictures in uh, this sketchbook, let me know and maybe I'll uh, pink them up or make them available for prints or something like that. Just, um, just let me know. Um, thank you for tuning in again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall speak to you all very, very soon. Love you very much. Take care. Bye.